What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on my video. Today we're going to be checking out the Daystate Pulsar. Now I bought this gun off the air, Gun Classifieds, with my own money. I'm just reviewing it so you guys can check it out. I am though going to refer you to AOA because it's one of the best places to buy these Daystates at. They have everything you need there. The Pulsar is available in a variety of different stock configurations. It's going to weigh 7.5 pounds to 8.3 pounds depending on the stock you get. So it's available in a regular and a high power. I'll show you the difference between the two real quick. The only differences other than the power are that the regular Pulsar is 30 inches long with a 17 inch barrel and the Pulsar HP is 35 inches long with a 23 inch barrel. Other than that they're completely the same. Now the regular Pulsar is still packing a lot of power. 25 caliber you're going to get 55 shots at 35 foot pounds. 22 caliber you can get 250 shots in 12 foot pounds but they also have 55 shots at 35 foot pounds. 22 caliber. 177 caliber you're looking at 220 shots in 12 foot pounds and 110 shots at 18 foot pounds. The high power model comes in 177 caliber, 22, 25 and 303 or 30 caliber. In 30 caliber you're going to be getting 70 foot pounds, 26 shots. 25 caliber, 55 shots with 50 foot pounds. Now here's the one I like. 22 caliber also has 50 foot pounds, giving you 43 shots. I didn't see the stats on the 177, but it does come in 177 high power. You're going to get an Airstream LCD with that. Comes with swivel studs installed. Lithium battery. You get one 10 round magazine and a single shot tray. For some reason, there's no single shot tray with the 30 caliber. Magazine only, it says. The HP version is going to have a 250 bar fill with the regular Pulsar at 230 bar. Manual safety, reversible side lever, so you can change your side lever from left to right. And boom, that's it for hardcore stats. This is an electronic day state gun, so it has day state's electronic cocking, electronic firing. So what it's doing is it calculates the air pressure in the tank. It has a solenoid that can basically open and close the air valve. It's gonna open and close the valve in a certain number of milliseconds and that gives you very very consistent shots alright let's see what the description says alright just on the front of Daystate's website here it says the Pulsar light years ahead with unique ergonomics and an action that's computer controlled via a sophisticated motherboard and software the Pulsar builds on Daystate's years of electronically powered air gun success to represent a revolutionary step in PCP design all right, you guys, here's the description from Air Guns of Arizona. Daystate Air Guns has a long history of manufacturing some of the finest air guns in the world. Building on the company's tradition of quality before quantity, the design team in England and Italy are proud to present the all-new Pulsar Bullpup Air Rifle. The Pulsar is the culmination of decades of research and development, including technology found in aerospace and medical industries alike. Interesting. The electronic firing and regulating system is completely waterproof and provides the most precise shot control that air driving a pellet can provide. I'm liking the sound of this so far. The breech block being machined from aircraft grade aluminum with ultra grade side lever can be reversed for left hand shooters. The day state has worked to include a vast array of features even the most demanding air gun shooters have come to expect. The rifle includes a built-in lever to show scope canting, a laser targeting system brilliantly placed in the forend that turns on when the rifle is cocked and goes off when fired, and a computer mapping system with three tuned power level choices that maximize shot count on each of the different selections. So guys, it looks like this is just going to be like the Red Wolf. If you saw my video on that, you can shoot it in high, medium, and low, but Medium and low are not really medium and low power. They're just shave a little bit off your FPS. Back to our story. The software also displays shot count, cylinder pressure, battery life, and more. The result gives the user three perfectly tuned guns in one. 
A 10-shot magazine features the highest quality Lothar Walther barrel available, resulting in match-grade accuracy. With a completely redesigned sound moderating system, each shot produces barely a whisper. The Pulsar spans the gap between shooting bench rest, field target, pest control, and long-range hunting, all with the same gun. The stock has been masterfully designed and produced by the finest Italian craftsmen the trade has to offer. Cheek panels can even be changed to suit the styling needs of the individual owner. A Picatinny rail for easy mounting of a bipod and other accessories is integrated into the design features of the Pulsar's walnut or laminate wood stock. That's convenient. Finally, the stock is capped with a fully adjustable butt pad to ensure comfort and proper head position. Those fortunate enough to acquire one of these artisan-inspired shooting instruments will cherish every moment behind the trigger. All right, you guys, this is sounding pretty good. Hopefully I don't fall in love with this rifle because I was supposed to sell it when I was done. I'm trying to save up for that Delta Wolf. All right, you guys, I didn't know if I was getting a high-power version, low-power version, or what, so let me go ahead and see. If you guys ever want to buy one of the rifles that you see on the Airgun channel, as soon as I post a video, I throw it on the Airgun Classifieds, and in the description of each video, I'm going to be including a link to the Airgun Classifieds on Airgun Nation, where you can buy my review gun and get it sent right to your front door. Every new air gun, even day states, have preservative gunk that they put in the barrels so they don't rust when they're on the shelves. It's important to clean that stuff out before you shoot your air gun or you'll decrease your accuracy. In addition, you never want to use a metal cleaning rod on an air gun barrel because that will damage the end of the barrel, which is called the crown, also decreasing your accuracy. Last thing I'm going to tell you is Ballastol is safe for air gun seals. If you try to use hops on an air gun, it'll rot the seals. So when you cock the rifle or disengage the safety, the laser will switch on. It'll turn off 1.5 seconds after you fire or after one minute in standby mode. You can turn the laser completely off in the menu. To adjust the laser, you got a little hole right there and a little hole on the other side. So that's going to do left and right, up and down. And you can uh, access that with the Allen key that they give you in the pack. You can also take this fore end completely off and adjust the laser when it's underneath. All right, you guys, to program the rifle, you got to open the bolt. Then depress this, hold it down. Now it's to programming mode. Now you can hold it down again, and it's just going to toggle through all the choices. When it's on a choice that you want, release, and then you can short press. And then to make your selection, you just close the bolt. All right, if you want to select something else, let's say we're going to decrease the power. Long press on. All right. Release. Long press, and we'll do power level. Now we can toggle through. I'm just going to put it back on high power and close the bolt and now we're programmed. Turning your magazine on and off just means that your rifle will become disabled every tenth shot. So I'm shooting single shot tray so I want my magazine off. Now I'll close the bolt. Ready to rock and roll. Here's some shooting that I did at 33 yards the first day I got this gun just because I couldn't resist. On high power, you need to have 18 grain and up, or else your pellets will be flying too fast. The two best pellets I found were the 25 grain JSB redesigns and the 18.1 grain JSBs. Okay, guys, official 25 grain group. Here we go. Gotta love that. I know it's hard to see, but that pellet went straight through the bullseye. And watch what happens with the next four. The scope cam and target cam footage were so horrible on this segment that I just decided not to use it. Wow, this thing is surgical with these 25 grains. How awesome is that? I just did three through the same 22 caliber hole. But a fine gun like this is all about repeatable accuracy. I wasn't worried at all. I just went out the next day and did the same thing. 
All right, you guys, that's five shots right there with the 25.39 grain at 33 yards. All right, you guys, I'm all set up on a very calm morning. I got my three best pellets right there, air tank, everything I need. So my target cam broke, all right, and I don't have $150 to buy a new one. So I devised this little contraption. I took some paddles from my RX target systems. And the only way I can get a shot at the target with my GoPro 8 is to stick it just right up in front of the target. So <laughs> this is going to be in the middle, and I think I'll be able to get the shot. Scope cam back here. We are at exactly... Thirty-five yards. Now we got some twenty-five grain JSB. Let me just side up to there. Same thing I did yesterday. So let me click a couple clicks over, see if we can do that to the middle of a bullseye. Bullet impact right. Official 25 grain group, here we go. Look at that, you guys. Still through the same hole. Look at that, you guys. I could do this all freaking day. 25 grain GSB through the same hole. Repeatable accuracy. That's what that's called. All right, you guys. Now uh, we're going to throw some 18 grains in here. See where we hit. All right. All right, you guys, we're at 229 bar with 18 grain JSB. I had coffee this morning, so I'm going to have to try extra hard to shoot these groups. Thing ain't going to shoot a flyer no matter what you do. All right, you guys, time to perform some surgery with 18 grain JSBs. First off, we're going to take this chicken out in the head. Sounds like that's got some smackdown power right there. Whoa, that one went right past his beak, you guys. <laughs> My gun wasn't even level. All right, let's see, level this baby up. That's more like it. Center mash. Smacking those pretty hard. Nice. All right, you guys, I backed my target up. This time we are at 47 yards. We're going to be shooting 18 grain and 25 grain GSBs. All right, you guys, I'm on 12 power. Let me just side in for these uh, 25 grains here. Ain't no problem. Do you love it? 50 yards more or less. Pellet on pellet through the bullseye. 25 grain, that's a lot of energy too. All right, let's see what 18 grain's gonna do. Now you guys, the reason I'm not sitting here shooting a bunch of groups is because the guys that watch my channel know this is just the first group. I sit down, I shoot a group, whatever happens on the first take happens. And uh, guns like this, boy, easy to film a great review. Okay, 18 grain sighting in. Hey guys, official group, 18 grain, 50 yards. Let's 
Slipped on the trigger that time, still put it through the bullseye. It's becoming a thing with these day states. Phenomenal, you guys. Pellet on pellet at 50 and 35 yards. All right. Okay, guys, I got a full tank with some JSP Hades. Let's see where we're hitting. What? That's why I was saying you guys actually in my first testing out on the first day. Anything under 18 grains was flying a little fast for this guy. Doesn't mean you could see, I could turn this down to low. Let's try that. Let's turn this down to medium. Hold on. As you can see, my JSB Hades pellets were not grouping very well. And that's just because they were flying a little bit too fast. All I have to do is turn the power down to medium, shave a few FPS off the velocity, and now watch what happens to my group. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. I just tightened my group right up by using the power adjustment on my gun. This is awesome. So you guys, this is, that's just an example of how you can use that function. Watch this. Oh, darn it. But look at the grouping now. All right, you guys, it'll be official JSP Hades group on mid power. Excellent group at 50 yards. So that's JSB Hades, you guys. You could put those on target all day. Medium power. Very cool. The fact that this gun shoots 15 grain JSB perfectly on medium power is no accident. I think Day State tuned it that way, and I think that they tuned the low power setting to perfectly shoot lighter ammo, such as the 13 grain JSBs. Three point six ounces. For today's chronograph test, we're going to be using the beautiful and talented eighteen point one grain FX pellets. My gun was actually on low power when I took that shot. So that's the velocity of an 18 grain on low power. Here's the velocity of an 18 grain on medium power. 850. Now we're going to bump it up to high power. So guys, the gas in my gun expanded when I came outside. So we're starting at 237 bar. You guys, we just uh, had our first weird one, and that was at 193 bar. Okay, we had our first low shot at 926. Let me check the FPS. We are at 171 bar. I'm going to call that, although you could keep going. That's only a few FPS under 935. I don't want to waste all my pellets. Awesome gun, awesome shot string. Good number of shots right there. All right, you guys, I backed my table up and we are at 73 yards. All right, guys, I'm on 16 power with my scope. 
And uh, since we're sighted in for Hades, let's just see what happens. I definitely can't see what's going on downrange. I'm at 16 power. Hold on, I'm gonna go get my umbrella. All right, guys, now we are ready to rock and roll. Let's see where this hits 16 power. Still on mid power, you guys. Look at this, you guys. Nickel size group with Hades on mid power at 75 yards, 73 yards. Freaking awesome. Good enough. All right, let's go to our most accurate pellets. All right, guys, back up on high power, 225 bar, 18 grand GSBs. Let's see where we're hitting. I'm just gonna set up to that hole, see what happens. You guys, 221 bar. Let's go for 18 grain group right here. How do you like that, you guys? 75 yards, it's my first try. As I say, now let's do some 25 grains. All right, I'm going to use this to side in. I'm going to aim for that. All right, hitting a little low. So it was kind of strange, but the 25 grain just shot really bad at 75 yards here. But the good news is that the 18 grain in the Hades did excellent. Yeah, okay, Houston, we have a problem. So these 25 grains, which are surgical, at 50 and 35 yards, just all of a sudden don't work at 75 yards. But we got our Hades whooping it up, as well as 18 grains whooping it up at 75 yards, so. All right, guys, I'm set up way back here. Ninety-five yards away. We're gonna try some ninety-five yard accuracy testing with eighteen grain JSBs and a couple of fifty grains in there. I need to see what happens. I think I might have had a pretty good group, but I can't tell what's going on. I was only on 16 power. Wow, until that last shot, that would have been a great group, and I think that was me too. Darn it. Now guys, that's the first time I tried that, and I actually was putting my stuff away after shooting this group, but then I thought to myself, Let's try that one more time. If you don't count that right there, this is the best group I've ever shot at 100 yards. So there we go. That little group fits way under a dime.
with a 17 inch barrel. Real quick you guys, I just want to give a shout out to Anthony from the air gun channel Ups and Downs. He's been putting in some work reviewing the air guns and I'm not sure how I came across his channel. I think it was in my YouTube feed. But then I discovered that he was a member of Air Gun Nation forum. So we talk on there sometimes. Anyway, I like his channel because he has a real knack for editing. I like his editing style and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Pretty hilarious stuff. So definitely for all the work he's put in, he should have a lot more subscribers than he does. So go ahead and shoot on over. Check out the Ups and Downs YouTube channel. There's a link in the description. You guys, I just sighted in with 18 grains on mid-power. I'm one shot, one kill in all these bullseyes. Mid-power, 204 bar. All right, guys, final thoughts on the Daystate Pulsar. Now, if the standard version shoots this good, right through the same hole, I can't imagine how awesome the 23-inch barreled high-power version is going to shoot. 35 yards. I'd be super excited to try one of those. I got some characters here. I'm going to shoot... Very, very small targets off of these guys' heads. Basically, you guys, I like everything about this gun. All right, you guys, fortunately, I can see most of my targets. Let's go to work. 18 grain JSB on medium. I'll admit that when I used to see pictures of this gun, I didn't really find it all that attractive. But then when you see one in person, the quality and fit and finish is just striking. Darn it. Well, that was a big target anyway. I'm going for my little ones. All right, we got another bullet on a head. So in person, they look totally badass. Then of course, it's a pleasure to shoot. That's not going down. It's glued on too good. Once you shoot it and you get that kind of accuracy at 100 yards, you don't really care what it looks like. Definitely the best bullpup you can get. And at just around $1,600, Definitely a good choice. I'm gonna shoot the sword out of this guy's hand. Let me move the camera and I'll finish these guys off. If you want a good bullpup, this may be the same price or just a few dollars more than the one you were already planning on getting. Definitely worth saving a little extra money and grabbing it. I really like that level. In the back of the scope rail, that's huge to me. The 1 8 foster fitting, so you, there's no fill probe required. That's also great, so they got everything figured out with this gun. I'm 99% sure that this is just a Red Wolf in a bullpup stock. So if you don't wanna pay $2,800 for a Red Wolf, just grab one of these, you save a thousand bucks. And you get the same performance. So, darn it. Anyway, that's it for me on this one, guys. I definitely had a great time shooting this gun. It made me realize accuracy equals fun, at least to me. And yeah, had a great time shooting this gun and filming this review. I've had this little shoe for like three years. I've been waiting to shoot it. Thanks again for watching you guys. Everybody stay safe out there. Happy shooting. And we'll catch you on the next one. If you guys would like to win the target that was used in this video, just go ahead and leave a comment down below with the word target in it. And at the end of the week, I'll pick one lucky winner. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you soon.